and 62 investors have picked pre-qualification forms to participate in the management and operations of the electricity company of Ghana. The Deputy Minister of Power, John Jinapo, assured staff of the company of their job security when it's giving out on a 25-year concession. At the launch of the roadshow in Accra to meet investors on proposed concessions for the management, operation and investments in the electricity distribution business of ECG, Deputy Minister of Power John Jinapo said protecting local content is critical. People claim that immediately the concession kicks in, all the staff of ECG will be laid off. I want to assure you that we shall take whatever step necessary to ensure that your welfare is protected and to ensure that you benefit. The major project under the Ghana Power Compact of the Millennium Challenge Compact 2 is the electricity company of Ghana financial and operational turnaround project designed to transform ECG into an efficient and financially viable entity through private participation. John Jinapo indicated the concessionaire will be monitored and evaluated on key performance indicators. The CEO of the Millennium Development Authority, Engineer Ura Safo, said $340 million of Millennium Challenge Compact Grant is being invested in ECG, while government is committing at least $37.4 million of its own money. An acceptable PSP provider must have the relevant technical experience and a proven track record of helping electricity distribution companies of similar size and scope as ECG to become profitable. The managing director of ECG, Robert Dramina, is confident of the capacity of the staff of the company who are ready to partner the concessionaire that will be selected. We have the onerous responsibility to ensure that the PSP procurement arrangements yield the right results and lead to the selection of one of the best electricity distribution utility companies in the world. We are talking about one of the best, one, a company which have a track record. The private sector participation in ECG will bring in additional investment urgently needed to improve the electrical infrastructure, innovation and technology to enhance operational efficiency to improve service delivery. And the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission has fined the electricity company of Ghana an undisclosed sum following extensive failure of some prepayment meters. The regulator explained the anomaly led to some consumers paying more than the approved 59.2% increase in electricity tariffs. Engineer Ura Safo said sourcing private investment for the electricity company of Ghana is crucial for efficient operations. Right now the needs are in the region of, you know, it's estimated around $200 million uh, annually. We need something in that region to invest in ECG, to make ECG uh, a more robust organization. And so bringing in a private sector participant will bring in this investment. They will also bring in additional technology, they will bring in expertise, and they will help to make what we call a ECG uh, credit-worthy or credible off-taker of power. The PURC has announced there will be no increase in the existing tariffs following a review of electricity and water tariffs for the first quarter of 2016 using the automatic adjustment formula. The PURC says it arrived at a decision considering the movements in the variables that underpin the formula, including the exchange rate, inflation, fuel mix, generation mix, among others. The PURC undertook a major tariff adjustment in December last year, increasing electricity and water tariffs by 59.2 and 67.2 percent respectively. The Commission says it is currently undertaking a post-tariff monitoring program to guarantee improved services for customers. But the ECG is already being punished for its 40 prepaid meters. The law says that they should be punished if they refuse to change these meters. There are some meters which are failing 
it is even different from the software issue. For instance, you, you'll be there and they will come and slap you with some ridiculous amount. And if you're unable to pay within a certain number of days, then they say they have blocked you. That one is not a software thing. It means there's a failure. And the meter might not even be prompting you when you have to buy units, especially prepaid meters. They have to pay some penalty units, but we can also decide what to do. We've given them the order already. The PURC has also dismissed reports. It failed to increase tariffs to favor government due to the November general elections. By we the electoral committee, what has election got to do with us? If there's no need to increase, we, we won't increase. But we'll increase it, there's a need to increase. And besides, consumers are already paying for the December, uh, December 2015 tariff. It is not even six months. And consumers will be thrilled with that development. Away from that, the board of Ecobank Transnational Incorporated has proposed a dividend payment of two cents to its shareholders. The bank's net profit went down 65% from the 1.15 billion cities in 2014 to 405 million cities last year. Ecobank Transnational Incorporated earlier in March issued a profit warning for its 2015 audited year end. The bank said it expects to report lower profits for last year. As expected, its full year financial results indicate it obtained a revenue growth of 19% and a 65% decline in net profit. Its total assets increased by 15% from 77.5 billion cities to 89.3 billion cities last year. Each year has also declared a dividend of, of 0 0.2 cents and I think this will be welcome news for shareholders. The company for uh, some time now has not paid dividends and I think that uh, shareholders will be happy that uh, they have finally declared dividends after a while. Um, what shareholders may be asking for is an increment in the dividends uh, going forward, seeing that they have not enjoyed anything of the sort from the company in the last two to three years. UT Bank also intends to seek approval to raise a minimum of 200 million cities in additional capital at its next annual general meeting. They are looking at raising funds so they can bring some turn around, uh, maybe get new equipment or bring some turn around that can bring uh, uh, the company back into uh, good profits. And that will do for business this morning.